Finally, here on Most Buffalo, archaeologists and citizen volunteers are digging into the past at the Michigan Street Baptist Church, a stop on the Underground Railroad and a fixture in Buffalo's African-American community. Unlock the history and unlock the past to help better inform the future. The Buffalo Niagara Freedom Station Coalition, which owns the church, is teaming up with the University at Buffalo for an archaeological dig to try and find artifacts to help tell a more detailed story of the people who helped to build the church in the 1840s and who were heavily involved in the years following. Right next to the church, there was the home of Peyton Harris, who's one of the founding members of the church. And if you actually walk our lawn, you can see the rocks that we think were part of the foundation of his home. I think we're hoping to discover artifacts that help to inform what their daily life could have been like. Maybe we'll find a hairbrush, maybe we'll find um, um, a pipe or something, or maybe, you know, the, like, there might be papers that might still be lodged, who knows? But I think that's part of the fun, is discovering something. And again, wouldn't it be wonderful if a community member was able to find something? When you're trying to piece together history, you have to take care in finding the actual pieces. This isn't about digging random holes, it's a methodical three-stage process that begins with marking off grids and doing shovel tests. By sifting the dirt from a grid pad of shovel tests. It allows us to understand the artifact patterns, uh, where artifacts are concentrated so that we can focus our other excavations in areas that are more uh, um, effective and positive. There's actually a state standard when it comes to this type of digging and this team, they're getting even more detailed. We're bringing that interval closer together because of the historic significance of this structure in this setting. So we're excavating a five meter grid which is in a sense three times more detailed than your standard phase one survey. The tools they're using are by no means fancy. Shovels and trowels and wooden boxes lined with mesh to sift through the dirt and debris and hopefully find something of historical significance. These pros know what they're doing, but they have no idea what they're going to uncover. We don't and we never do and that's the mystery and that's why we're all a little bit nervous this morning. We're starting you know, something that has a big impact for, for Buffalo and Western New York. We hope that people will come and watch us dig. And we certainly hope that we find something interesting for people to see and, and that relates to the context of the church parcel that we're investigating. Well, there's always the chance that they won't find anything at all, but that wasn't the case today. They unearthed pieces of pottery dating back to between 1830 and the 1890s. There's always that moment of excitement. Every archaeologist uh, looks for that, hungers for that, and it's the next project and the next project that keeps us going. And they're going to keep going this Saturday and next Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We've got more information on how you can get involved. Find this story at WGRZ.com. That does it for us here on Most Buffalo. Kate's back on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.